harder than you thought it'd be I hope people stop listening when you speak I hope that you see me in your wet dreams They tell me I'm the bargain version of Lil Chase Hudson Morrissey Morrison, all the last Paul Rudd son Joji, George O'Malley, Frank Sinatra, are you really 13, 30, 12 and 20, both and not I am getting them serious If all I do is just give you the ache or a host of red flags It's you like a break with a face A fizzy I can be the deck of iconography But lying in benevolent ass I'm the falling spiral like to the abyss So divine in your eyes and double your ears Maybe I'm the very model of a modern major criminal A simple ammunition for your novel I'm getting them serious Happy birthday, Waddy! Waddy! And howdy, howdy, everybody. We're here. We're alive. We survived the onslaught of the terrible Dracula. And live to see another day. How are we all doing out there? Welcome in, everybody. I swear I remember how to do this streaming thing. Phoenix, first one out the gate. Phoenix! Welcome in, welcome in. Seema! Seema! And I thought I saw... I did, and I saw a Sydney Geek! As well, and anybody else who's hanging out lurking, my greetings to you as well. Hello! Lots of birthday wishes for Wadi. I'm not sure Wadi's here yet, but she should be at some point very soon. I started, uh, Wadi was not at home a couple hours ago, sent me a message saying I won't be there at the top of the 8 o'clock hour, so I decided to do my, to intentionally do my closer to 9 o'clock start, uh, just to buy Wadi some time, so, so that nothing was missed, but we will, we will wait patiently for the birthday friend to show up. Hello, Eric, so nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Seema, nice to see you. My apologies that uh, connection issues meant I was unable to stream Dracula live. I put, I installed like 350 something dollars worth of upgrades, fantastic upgrades. Unfortunately, the tiny little connector to put one wire into another wire I did not have. And because it's not the most common sort of connector, I had to then turn around and order it. So. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, the panda booty just cheered one bit. Swiggity swooty. Swiggity swooty, she's coming with that booty. Nice to see you, my bear. Oh shit, here comes Lamp as well. Everybody's coming on in now. Nice to see you, friends. Nice to see ya. Hello. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Um, but I've got the little part I need, so I'm I'm lit. I'm putting that in tomorrow, so you can cross your fingers and hold on to your butts for me that these many many hundreds of dollars of equipment that I installed are are gonna do what I hope they're supposed to do. I literally, I literally put one of the world's strongest antennas on top of my 20-foot pole, which is already on top of the roof. So if this don't do it, I, then nothing will. And then I also upgraded my cellular hotspot thing to a Nighthawk M6 that actually has an Ethernet port in it so I can run a regular-ass wire. A regular ass wire, regular ass router. 
which is kind of funny because like I just I used a I plugged in a router I had lying around and and the and the Wi-Fi in that router is technically worse than what's built into the the Nighthawk which has uh, Wi-Fi 6e in it and I just I had an old Archer A7 which is a Wi-Fi 4 for 5 I don't know an AC router kicking around but it does the trick it does the trick but welcome in everybody welcome in stopping into quick to say hi happy birthday wadi back to hank williams jr and might be back later for marbs all right lamp we'll look forward to seeing you later otherwise enjoy the show well as much as i assume you're working it so enjoy it as much as you can while you're horking and hopefully we will see you later i'm gonna turn my air on hold on There, that should help. I got the old river of sweat running down my back. I figured I had a little extra time since I was starting stream a little late, so I jumped into a project that I did finish. I did finish in time, but it ended up being a little bit rushed. <laughs> so I, uh... I've been very slowly, like with every paycheck, picking up a couple of things to to throw at the Impreza just to improve my day-to-day -day experience. You know, not like, not like what normal people, what normal people would put on a car, but like the, the speakers that the stock Subaru speakers are terrible. So a couple weeks ago, I just picked up a, a pretty cheap set of aftermarkets because anything's better than what was in there, and put them in the put them in the rear door panels, which helped a bit, but um, didn't quite have the base that I would like. I, I specifically got a couple of um, of mid base drivers as opposed to like regular speakers, just so I could like set an EQ curve to have the back mainly just be generating a little bass while I get the rest of the experience from the speakers up front. And it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be, but I found like a $20 uh, subwoofer crossover on on the Jungle website. So I figured I had nothing to lose. I ordered one of those. It's, tiny, it's this tiny little box uh, with a coil and a capacitor in it. And it's just a real basic... Uh, low-pass filter, essentially. But it's a crossover for a subwoofer, so if you're building your own boxes. Well, I'm not building boxes, but I took this crossover, and what I was doing tonight, I took the door, the door back, one of the doors apart, because I'm only going to do this in one door. Took the door apart, pulled the speaker out, brought it back inside, and soldered that up to the crossover, along with an ex a wire to go to the internal wiring and a wire to go to the speaker. So I got all that wired up into one assembly, Got that put back in the car. It does help, but now I'm. But now I think what I need to do is I need to get some. Uh, I can't remember. Sound deadening material. It's like it, it's like a fruit roll up, but you don't want to eat it, and it's for like uh, insulating car parts against road noise and whatnot. So I think if I if I put that on the door as a seal, then it'll make a bit more of a, well, essentially a, a base enclosure for that speaker. So turn the door into a subwoofer. We'll see how well that works. Use a bunch of that in your server rack. You're showering right now in your server rack. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, and like 20 bucks for the crossover, and I can get a roll of this like Amazon Basics brand acoustic treatment peel and stick stuff. Uh, automotive fruit roll up for another like $20. So probably next paycheck, I'll pick up a roll of that. Um, you know, just, just little, little things like that to just improve my day. Because again, when you spend so much time driving every day like I do. You start to notice, like, I'd like this to be a little bit different. I'd like my sound to be a little better, etc., etc. So, so that's what I took care of before the start of stream. And 
Uh, today was also finally the first day in a goddamn week that it hasn't been cold and raining. Literally e every day since Sunday or Saturday. I don't know. It's been like a week. It's just been. It's like we went from. It's like we went from July to late October. The change was that drastic. Not fun. Not fun. Needs coilovers, big turbo, giant wing. No. I'd like to have practical things and for my car to be as invisible as possible. And being a more or less base model Impreza wagon with steel rims and no bells or whistles like it's pretty damn invisible so i i do i that's that's i like that because again this is a prius replacement here all my all my fun showy look at me vroom vroom shit that's what the genesis is for <laughs> this weather's hitting you hardy yeah i've it's it's going around uh rickshaw tom is all like snotty and sneezy and ugly. and I, I, to a much lesser extent, like, I've had, like, itchy sinuses and, you know, some sneezes and stuff and a scratchy throat every morning. So, this is the changing of the season. It's here. It's here. I also took advantage of this nice day. I took my my bedside HEPA filter apart, cleaned the filter out and everything. It was, it was long overdue. I figured that wasn't doing me any favors. Um... I find I can get, like, two or three cleans out of a filter before I actually turn around and replace it, because they're, like, 30 bucks for a filter on a... I spent $60, I think, on the whole unit, so <laughs> I guess that's how they get you. But... So this was my last clean of it, so probably in a couple months, probably when I'm getting ready to turn on the furnace for the year, I'll probably order an actual replacement filter for it. Phoenix just feels achy all over. Oh, that's no fun. Sorry to hear that. HB is feeling like crap all week, too. Not because of the weather. You've been fighting other stomach bugs. Oh, man. And also, also, apparently, there's another, like, super contagious COVID strand going around as well. So, ugh. still, still dodged all those bullets, but knocking on wood here that I and all of you wonderful people are able to, to dodge that as well. But yeah, this is a, a season for seasonal allergies for me as well. I had, um, on Monday actually, I had just a really bad sinus headache. Like, if it, it kind of just if, for anyone who's ever gone skiing, it felt like I had worn ski goggles all day that were two sizes too small like that's that's where it hurt and i ended up taking that day off of work and so i inadvertently got a four-day weekend because friday was uh bennington battle day which is vermont's stupid holiday for a civil war battle that didn't take place in bennington it actually took place five miles away in new york state so but it means i got paid to not go to work so i'm not complaining and Waddy's here! Waddy! Happy birthday, Waddy! Happy birthday, Waddy! Happy birthday, dear Waddy! Happy birthday to Nice music. <laughs> Merry uterine expulsion anniversary, Waddy. <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in. Oh, thank you, thank you. But welcome in. You're uh, we we started around nine because I knew you because uh, you sent me that message you weren't going to be here, so I. Uh, deliberately started a little late. So you yeah, haven't missed much. We've just been doing some chats here waiting for you. We didn't want to get into anything until you got here. So, yeah, that's about where we at. So.
Oops, caps lock prob. It's cruise control for cool. Glad that happened while I'm in the shower and not when I have my headphones. I don't know, I got headphones on. It sounded pretty damn majestic. But that's just me. Oh, I hope you're, uh, we were just talking about everyone having a week of, like, not feeling too great. So we hope you're feeling pretty good, Waddy. On your borts day. That's majestic in your ears. Dang right. And I hope your birthday has been pretty, pretty wonderful so far. Tell us all about it. And I'm all set up here to to jump on into Rusty Lake Hotel, as you so requested. I have it installed, ready to go. I haven't opened it. I, have, I don't know much about it. I don't think I was around when Chris the Lamp streamed it, so it'll all be a brand new experience for me. You had lasagna and garlic bread and then strawberry shortcake at your Bessie's. Dang, that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty awesome birthday menu right there. Little kid me would have been like, that is a that is spot on perfect. There was a couple of years when I was growing up that um, I had my grandmother used to me, offer to make us whatever we wanted for our birthday, and I oh, and for like three or four years, which was probably like half my life at that time, I always wanted her to make lasagna. So, Rusty Trombone Hotel, no, Rusty Lake Hotel. Not Rusty Trombone Hotel, not Rusty Shackleford Hotel, not Butthole Pleasure Hotel. Well, I don't know. It could be. I haven't played it yet, but de not Jimothy J Marie Jenkins Hotel, but it could be. Again, I don't know. I haven't played it. <laughs> Good food and extra sleep make a birthday extra nice. Absolutely, Seema. It is not about the butthole pleasures. Okay, well, at least at least we've crossed that off the list. So, we'll jump into that a little later on as we settle on in here. As we settle on in here. Um, I'm just going to crack into my beverage. I made the last of... One of my official Soda Stream flavors. This is a strawberry watermelon. Probably won't buy this again. It just doesn't taste like a whole lot. It's very subtle. But let's jump on in and get a crisp, get a birthday crisp here. Pew! But cheers and slancha. Raise one up to Wadi. I said, raise it to Wadi, to the happiest of birthdays, to the mod with the most, and to a really wonderful friend for all of us. Slancho. You picked that one of all the Rusty Lake games because you believe it's beatable in one stream. Okay. Well, d no. are, do you Nerbler Panda Booty just cheered one bit. Happy birthday at Incredible Wati. Wonderful birthday greetings. We're such we're such a lovely group here. Warms warms the old dead heart. So we can raise a couple as soon as you're out of this water box. No worries, man. No worries. Um In terms of like when do when do you think we should start if we're if we can get through this in a whole stream? Should it be sooner rather than later? We're coming up on nine thirty, so I don't know what we're looking at here. You are the captain of this stream, so you could just say start now and we'll start, or start at nine thirty four and five seconds and we'll start at nine thirty four and five seconds. <laughs> Jesus, that was louder than I intended. <laughs> uh, sooner, probably. Yeah. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll finish up our chats here, then we'll uh, transition on over to game mode. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's been like it's been like another week and a half. My apologies, folks. But the Dracula run went well. It in terms of like attendance and funds raised and everything, it was well our our August show has is always a tougher sell than than the beginning of summer musical. It's just a fact, fact of life. But we did almost equal numbers in terms of attendance and in terms of funds raised. And for us, that that's huge. So, um, and for a lot of our performances, new people, people that had never been to our theater outnumbered returning, like people that had been there wow. like four Sleepy or five to one. one bit. I'm the captain of the gravy train. Climb aboard. Let me get some water and some wine separately. I'm not Jesus, and then we can go anytime. Okay, we will wait for you, Watts. Um, but yeah, the Dracula run went really well. It, t- <laughs> as I expected, but did not ultimately end up surprising me. It did take literally until the last performance to have a for me to have a performance where I did not I did not biff a single line I I may have biffed I don't know in any case like there was a couple of spots that that just kept kept hanging me up but the the very last show the very last chance I had I got all the problem spots and it uh it was a hell of a lot of work it really was and I was I was right to be as nervous about it as I was, but it it all came together. It all came together in the end, and I have I have our next to last performance filmed as well. So that will be going up on the YouTube channel at some point. But what I'm also going to do, probably before I do that, a little closer to Halloween, because I didn't get a chance to stream it live. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a, a watch party live stream of that that penultimate performance of Dracula, just to set the mood. So, but it was good. It was good, and we've been uh, we've been rehearsing for our October show, which I wrote and am directing, and we've got some we got some new folks in the cast. And who are also new to our company, so that's also really exciting. We've got we we went pretty hard this week, like to our normal schedule, but we're uh, and then we're rehearsing tomorrow as well. And then I'm I'm dialing it way back because because some of our some of our kids in the cast are starting school next week, and I don't want them to be completely overwhelmed. And we've got like. We've got like six weeks to rehearse. So for this show, that should be fine. That should be fine. So we'll probably dial back to maybe like two rehearsals a week, like a weeknight and a, and a weekend, but not the whole, the flat out five day a week thing we normally do. That would, I don't want to do that. (laughs) So, uh, so that'll be good. That'll be good. Our rehearsals so far have been great. I have a lot of production work to do for it. Probably more so than any of the other shows in this series. I've got a lot of, um, I've got a lot of video and audio vignettes that I need to record for. We've it. tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. Rickshaw Tom, everybody. So, uh, we already made that joke. <laughs> we already made that joke. Rusty Sheriff Badge Hotel. Um, but yeah, it is. It is Waddy's. Uh, Waddy is pulling the hostile birthday stream takeover card, and uh, has provided us with a copy of Rusty Lake Hotel to play. And that is what we're going to do. Because it's Waddy's birthday, and Waddy calls the shots. Uh. 
But in terms of I turn in terms of the the chatteroonies, I think that pretty much covers everything. So unless anybody else has anything they'd like to like to share with the class, anything going on in your lives this week or since we streamed last, I think nine nine days ago, it was last Tuesday. Not a couple days ago, but like last Tuesday, I was I was so damn tired this last Tuesday. Again, like I said, I took Monday off because I had that n massive, stupid sinus headache, and then... Yeah, I was just, I was fried. HB, last time I checked, you are not some random Middle Eastern radical that decided to challenge Imperial Roman rule under the guise of religion and accidentally start a new one, unless I am mistaken and you've been hiding it extremely well. <laughs> You hadn't even really started your job back then. Oh yeah, you're how how has that been going? I know I know cuz of cuz of rules and things you can't talk too much about it, but I'm sure in the uh But I'm sure like in the in the broadest in the broadest sense you can tell us how it's going and that there are non-specific things you might like about it, and etc, etc. Tom doesn't know what's going on with me, but crazy low energy, sore throat, can't get enough sleep. That's what, uh, that's what's, that's what a lot of, uh, a lot of us were saying as we were spinning up here over the last week. It's just, there's a lot, lack of energy and not feeling very good going around. It is, it is a time of year where fall allergies can spin up, but then there's also, like, there's also a pretty, a pretty gnarly COVID strain going around. I'm hoping it's not that. <clears throat> Anya May is here, too! Anya! <laughs> Excuse me. Wadi is working at a group home where there are two people on staff at all times. My partner for third shift is named Francis, and she is the fucking best. That's awesome. We are glad to hear that. Take a COVID test. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, my guess is just we we had such a drastic shift weather-wise. Like last Saturday into Sunday, like it literally went from summer to early to from went from summer to late fall, like freaking 40s and 50s, cold, rainy, miserable for days, days and days. And that just that sucks the wind right out of me. Just going to hitch my wagon to whatever Francis wants and go through. That sounds like a good plan. Tom wants to know what to turn on the TV. Um, I don't know. CB Geek built a new computer box on stream last night. Gonna be a while before she's ship shape though. Getting 192 gigs of RAM across four sticks at reasonable speeds isn't gonna be easy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's... That's up. That's up there on the, on the first world problem list. <laughs> oh, HB, HB with the solid, solid choice. Putting my stream up on the big screen. And CB Geek's back at the desk. Whoop whoop. Um. But yeah, uh, I'm glad you have an awesome coworker, Wani. I'm sure that makes a huge difference. Especially on a on a third shift. When I worked third shift, I liked that I was by myself, but the few times I had to work with somebody when I didn't like who I was working with, it was an absolute it was a it was an absolute drag. I hated it. But there's a few times I worked with someone like I didn't mind, and that helped. It does help a lot. Especially when you're the only ones there. But yeah, that is awesome. I'm glad to hear that's going well. Glad to hear the computer box with all the fancy new gizmos and gadgets and who's it's and what's it's and bits and bops in it is going together well. It works totally in spec with 96 gigs at uh, 6600 mega transfers, but best you've been able to do so far with both kits installed is 3200. Oh, wow. It should be possible to get your, 
Yeah, well, hopefully you're able to get that dialed up. Um, in a much less technically impressive sense, I, um, I get to set up my new, um, my new work laptop. Came in the mail on Tuesday, so... So... Not, it's not exactly interesting or fascinating by any sense of the imagination. It's just a, um, it's just a bog standard M3 MacBook Air. But I had been running a running an M2 Air, and then one of our attorneys, uh, who works in the front office of my office, like with the treasurer and those folks, um, was having an issue with his XPS, his Dell XPS. And then inquired about, like, he, of all the times he's been in my office, he never noticed that I was using a MacBook, I guess, and he inquired about it. So, so I was like, if that's what you want to use, we'll order you one, we'll get everything set up and everything. And then, as I was working on another laptop to replace the one he had, I was like, you know, this is stupid, I'm going to have to do this twice. So I just, I took the M2, wiped my stuff on it, off it, set it up for him, gave that to him, but I had already ordered this M3. So, <laughs> so I was like, here's what we'll do. I'm just going to give you this today so we don't have to change you over twice. He was super happy with it. Everything was great. So I got an upgrade by, <laughs> by helping this guy out. So, um, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. No worries there. Decided on Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. You know, I have... I don't think any of the, like, modern incarnations of any of the, of any Ghostbusters I have seen. I think I've thought about it, but I just haven't watched any of them. Of course, I don't... <laughs> I have very little time when I have time to invest in movies. Uh. But yeah, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Got <laughs> got a single generation update, but whatever, I'll take it. No problems there. Didn't watch the Lady Ghost. Ghost was one. I think there was another one. Yeah, the the yeah Afterlife, the one that was before the before Frozen Empire. But I, I didn't see the Lady Ghostbusters. I didn't see Afterlife, and I because I hadn't seen Afterlife. Didn't see, yeah. I'll watch them at some point. My off season is coming up in like two months. <laughs> Jesus. Well, like a month and a half. I don't know. Mid October, I'll get time back to do stuff. Wishing a happy birthday to Waddy. Captures the feeling of the first two. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe you should have gone in order. MCU style. Pudge, is it me? I would assume it is. I don't think anybody else here has a birthday today. Or if they do, they haven't told us. And it feels like a true sequel. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, I think I think that sums sums it all up with uh, the only other exception being an addition to everything that's behind me. And the it is kind of cut off on camera, but this is the box that it came in. Um, as I talk about every now and then, uh, it's it's been a very slow, but but positive process gaining traction with the stories telling stories uh youtube channel and thanks to a lot of the the horror story content that i've produced over the last couple of years that ended up being what they call evergreen content so i'm continuing on a daily basis to pull in viewers pull in subscribers everything like that and I met earlier this year, I reached that first stage of the two stages of the YouTube Partner Program, which is super sweet. And we're more than on track to hit full-fledged partner 
at the end of this year, which is also super awesome, which is a thousand subs. We're I think I think I hit 850 this morning. And a couple uh I guess it was like a month ago. I got I got an email from YouTube inviting me to this um, this partner program adjacent program. That's the best way I can think to describe it. That's like a way a way that they can give back to I I assume it's for smaller smaller partners. So I was like, okay, I'll whatever. I'll sign up for this. That's cool. And then last week, I got this, I got a random box in the mail. I was expecting all these other things that I ordered, so I had no idea what it could have been. Then I open it and I see this box that says YouTube on it. And I was like, what? What could this be? So, I mean, it was like, I can't just open this. I have to. So I started my phone recording and opened it right there. And, um,. Here, I'll 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 show you what it is. It's uh, it's not a play button, but it kind of is. It's a, uh, it's, I guess you could call it a, a neon, I got the neon play button. <laughs> so, yeah. So they sent me that with a little, with a little like, you're doing awesome. You know, it was a, it was a, you know, a form card and everything, but it was still really, really cool. Actually, I think I can, sh I can, I can show that to you. What am I talking about? We have multimedia capabilities here. I can show you what it is. So it says, Lights, Camera, Glow. Hi, partner. Congratulations. You're now the owner of a limited edition YouTube Neon. A huge thank you from your friends at YouTube for brightening the world with your creativity, energy, and drive. You're very special to us. We'd love to see your new sign in action. Tag us at YouTube High Five so we can check it out. And I did, and they responded to it. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. But this is what it this is what it looked like when I opened the box. I was like, oh, okay, okay, I need to I need to be filming this." <laughs> so I did. And I ended up And I ended up just making a little video that I that I first sent out to Patreon, and then uh, a week later, uh, like yesterday, yesterday the day before, I shared it on uh, regular socials. So I'll I'll share it with you now. So put this together. Nice little thank you video. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and a representative will be with you shortly. Para Espanol, Asprina Numero Dos. Oh yeah, yeah. I was, I was pretty... It was a very nice surprise. It's a very nice surprise and very, very motivating. It's a pre-play button. It's a play light or a play button after hours. It's also like it's not just on and off. It's 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 a it's touch sensitive. So I can 
if I if I I can tap it on, tap it off, or if I touch and hold it, I can control how bright or how dim it gets. So it's pretty neat, pretty neat little thing. And I'll I'll find a better place for it in the background. I thought it I thought it might have shown up on stream, but it's just out of stream. So I'll 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 move some stuff around to make it fit. There's the hiccup I've been fighting. Oh, I love it. It's super cute. It's a play light, but it's also a play light. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, uh, if anything, that is, I've been kind of dragging my feet getting episode 100 finished up, but I've also been fucking busy. But I'm, I'm hoping now that, now that as of after tomorrow, our rehearsal schedule dials way down. I'm going to have more time to get that done. And then I also will have to get some stuff planned out, recorded, and ready to go because uh, my annual Spooktober series will be here before we know it. And that's kind of the reason it's we've been growing how we have is, is the scary stories, predominantly the Stephen King stuff. But like it's it's pulling folks in at at a clip that it's never pulled folks in before. And I'm to the point where, like, I'm checking it multiple times a day, and it's and it's just keeps moving. Yeah, we're currently at 850. 850, and we've done we've got 80, 81 this month, which is wild. So, I mean, know oh, it's it's nothing numbers for a lot of folks, but for me, who's been who's been doing this series for seven years to finally have stuff happening. It, it feels pretty, it feels pretty good. feels pretty good. All right, let's start killing off some animals in this game. Warning to anyone sensitive to cartoon animal violence. This has cartoon animal violence. Oh, great. I tried to get our point canceled. It's very cool about the YouTube light and it's fitting in the frame. It is like that. That, that may be where I keep it, and I may just put the put I'm the so happy box I'm somewhere a gummy else. Bear, gummy bear. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a good spot. I just I just didn't want it to necessarily upstage the zamp, but I think I think they can they can coexist. They can coexist. All right, we're going to we're going to fire up the game now. So for those who are or are not aware, this is Wadi's birthday. Uh, and as everyone else here, you may aware, you may be aware, you may not. This is something that um, is like for the OGs who've been here since the beginning. I've always had this option available to folks on your birthday. If you so choose, um, <clears throat> you can. You can throw me the Uno, Revo Uno Reverse and do a hostile stream takeover where you basically tell me what to do. And whatever you tell me what to do for the stream, that's what we will do. Um, as a lot of us have become streamers in our own right over the, over the years we've been doing this, a lot of folks are just choosing to do their own birthday streams, which is fine. So we've, we haven't done very many of these stream takeovers the last couple of years. So... We're, we're getting back to form here, going back to the well, as it were, and Wadi is pulling that card out and wants us to play Rusty Lake Hotel. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to fire this up here. I know nothing about this game, so I'm going to be finding it out, finding out about it as you are. Let's see. Let's get our shelves changed over here. There we go. All right, this look... I don't know if this would be a, a controller game, but we're going to try. Doesn't look like it's going to be. All right, we're going to... Oh, I guess it doesn't give us adjustments, does it? That seems really loud already. Couldn't figure out how to do sound alerts on Android. The new clients suck sweaty balls. Yeah, it's like it's like they they're trying. It's like they turn the the Android app into into TikTok. 
and like I'll I'll respond to so like the notification that someone's streaming, I'll open it. It'll start playing their stream, but then it'll start playing whatever stream it's deciding to autoplay underneath it. So I'll have to, once it's open, back back out, then find the stream I wanted to watch, and then go back into it. And it's really stupid. This, this is the worst update they've ever done. But it doesn't look like we can control the volumes here. Can you hear me all right? Is the volume too oppressive? It's kind of loud in my ears, but I can live with it. Oh, there we go. There's the the real full screen. That'll 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 wake. Volume's pretty loud. All right. Well, it doesn't look like we can. So should I... I mean, I can turn it off, but then we're just kind of quiet. Is I th That's kind of a dinger that, you, that we can't adjust it. The iPhone client is not much better. You've seen people putting up ways to emulate the Android app on iPhone. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I got the yeah. They they sent out emails about sub sub price increasing when purchased via mobile, whether Android or iOS, in October, up to seven ninety nine a sub. So, my recommendation for any of you that have existing and ongoing subs that you've done on your mobile device, I would recommend um, sometime next month, or even just doing it now, um, on your device, canceling your sub, and then when you renew it do it in a web browser it'll that that'll get you the best price there so because the 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 fees that they're tacking on now to to mobile subs is just redonkulous but probably want the sound effects okay yeah that is that is just so loud well, okay, we're going to leave it on. We'll see how obstructive it is. And if we have to come in and turn it off, we will. Uh oh. All right, looks like we can't use controller here. So we're just... Turn it down. No, I can't. I can't. There's, there's no volume controls. It's either on or off. Turn down for what? Oh yeah, I guess I can. Then that's an across the board thing. All right, well I, cu I cut that by 50%. That's a little better. All right, we'll see how that goes. Let's jump on in and see what this is all about. Rusty Lake, 1893. Good afternoon. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl! How many licks does it take Hotel. to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Almost Tootsie Pop? The guests are arriving. They all have their own reasons to be here. And I, I have my own reasons to let them stay. We will be having five days. Are the animals coming to some Make sort sure of farm? everyone is worth dying for. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful week. Is he going to eat his friends? Is Mr. Let's Owl going to eat his friends? Southern Brad Pitt. The first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not talk about Project Mayhem. Use arrows to move around. Yeah, I can't use controls. Ah, well. Are we literally just clicking the air? I guess we're just clicking the arrows. It's a point and click. Can I have one of them shrimps? Sir? Ah! Ah! Welcome the guests to our hotel. Ah! Serve them the local delicacy. Ah! Is is it shrimp heads? Can I can I have one? Your phone call. Your phone. Your phone. Your phone call from St. Louis came through. 
Mr. Owl only eats Tootsie Pops. <laughs> Hashtag diabetes. Sup, Frogo? Hi there. I've heard the guests have arrived. I need you to get fresh ingredients by tomorrow. I mean, you don't do your own shopping? Okay, chef. You can see the recipes in the menu. Deer steak with mushrooms and rosemary. Wild boar ribs and red wine with tomatoes. Pheasant breast and white wine and tim. And thyme. Rabbit stew with carrots and white beans. Pigeon and blackberry sauce with potatoes. Secret Rusty Lake special? So I have to find the ing ingredients? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go find that for you, chef. That, this, this kitty cat bellboy doesn't look like he's slept in like 27 days. You are not allowed to visit the rooms at any time, especially right meow. It's a bat cat. Do -do 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 -do. Bat cat. Oh, I guess I need to kiss to get into them. Mr. Owl. Oh, come on. There's got to be a safe behind that. You know there is. All right. Oh, dear. Bring me a Bloody Mary tonight. Yes, sir. Are you ready for my photo shoot? Not quite. I'm so hungry. You want a shrimp cocktail? Blurp. You're welcome, sir. What's up, Jack? Do you believe in magic? Come see me tonight. I'll make something disappear into a hat. Okay. I need you to run my bath tonight. Okay. What's in here? I have to prepare the dinner first. I have to get the ingredients and prepare the dinner. Okay. I remember this game. Pretty sure it has... It was Dinny Hoon I saw playing it. Eric is going to love this game. <laughs> Too tall for a safe. Do I have to give them all shrimps? Okay, I'll give them all shrimps. Not you. This smells a bit fishy. Can I take that wine, though? Nope. Thank you, but I'm not a meat... I am no... I am more a meat... That's fucking meat, dude. Get off your high horse. <laughs> funny looking... You're a funny looking dude. Ranking on my funny looking food. I'm sorry, I don't eat pink food with eyes. Okay. I'm looking forward to our first dinner tomorrow. Now it's time to go to my room. Click to continue. 
Most people are meat people, except for maybe that bushroot guy from Darkwing Duck, and maybe Poison Ivy. I don't eat pink eye. <laughs> you had Phelan play this game, too. He ended up playing all the Rusty Lake games after. Neat. Little old hen rules, gonna eat yourself, <laughs> gonna eat yourself a dinner. In this lobby, will there be TP? I don't think the crow's gonna answer the phone. Uh. Hotel abortion clinic, no fetus can beat us. Have a look at my portrait. Okay. Mushroom, mushroom. And I unlocked a set award, Mr. Deer minus two. So I, I basically have to go, I'll go around and find these ingredients, I guess. Well, it looks like he's going to let me up the elevator now. Wow. Wow. In my land, we have no teepee. No man should be without teepee. I come from Lake Titicaca. Wait, what's on the cat bat's button? A down arrow? Is that a bug? Doot, 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 doot. Because he doesn't like being poked. I assume I need to find the kith to look in there. And later go up, and later go down, and later go down the hole. I'm I'm probably on floor zero, aren't I? How silly of me. All right, everyone keep your eyes peeled for Jimothy Marie Jenkins. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Oh, dear. Bring me a Bloody Mary. Blood Vodka Tabasco. Special ingredient. I thought the special ingredient was blood. Ah! Well, I found the blood. Yeah, but... Uh Ooh, I found a kiss. Mr. Deer's research plan. Hmm. I assume I need a cup to catch that snotty blood with. Ooh. Ha ha! I found the rosemary! Mr. Deer minus three. Oh, there's more in his room. He's got science stuff. Science! I said science again! Okay, nothing there.
Yeah, I'm really not sure what any of this does. Distillation purposes. Do I put the blood in the buck, buck, bucket? So we grindy, grindy, grindy something in here. Okay, well we can we can light the still now. Okay. So we have to find out what all these mean. Yeah, fire! Fire! <laughs> it's the Jaegermeister tap. Ooh, now you can go see about that prophylactic dispenser. <laughs> what the hell is Slimer a ghost of? Partying? I guess the bucket has nothing to do with that. Hmm. I can't take the glass. Okay, well that's 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 something. Oh! Found your booze hall, drunky. Yeah, yeah. What is in the lake? Is there a way down? Blah, 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 blah. Water samples? That's uh, that's that's a heck of a heck of a research plan there, buddy. Off to Ooh Uber. All right, Mayor Bear, stay safe. I mean, we could light this, but why? There's nothing in it. People top <laughs> tip well. Oh, we can hope that they top well too. Hmm. Oh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I bet I put the, the chum bucket on that. 
There we go. Ah, oh, I got a bucket of water. I must need something to catch that moth. Get that bug? I can just grab it? It wouldn't let me. Eh, 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 eh! You're probably right about needing something to get it. You watch this game like three times and don't remember the steps. Alright, well, we've done a lot in this room. Can we... Can we go to the other rooms? I mean, I assume we gotta put the mothy boy on the wall. We grind up something in here. But I'm sure we come back here when we have other stuff. What? Okay. I guess we can't leave and come back. Uh. Put the vodka. Okay, we got that. Now we need Tabasco blood <laughs> and a secret ingredient. Can I put blood? Can I get the. Hey, Tabasco? That's not what I was expecting. Alright, well, what if we pull the other antler? Still just Tabasco. Okay. Can you pick up the lamp and lure the moth with it? Maybe. That's a negatory. I will. Maybe. Okay, so that isn't that is eight, whatever that means. Plus four. I assume this means the triangle and the, the Dreamcast logo are both the number one. Oh, and the plus is a four. Is this one, 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 four then? Those are equal. Those are not equal. Those are not equal either. So that is equal 
to plus four. So is the Dreamcast logo four then? So one, four, one, four? Nope. They're bigger and heavier than the one. Bloody Mary, blessed are you amongst cocktails. Hmm. Burn it! Burn it! What is this? I mean, clearly we plant something in here. Okay, well, that's, that's something. Oh, I have to make this eight. Okay. All right. So this now has five in it. Now that has six in it. This is an interesting puzzle. Okay. Um, five back in there. Three, four, five, six. So now we have six, five, and one. If we put this in there, we'll have seven. There we go. Now we put that in there. We have two... No. Five, six? Ugh. Numbers. One, two, three, four, five... Dang it. Okay. Six. Okay. There's five. That's another five. And we have one. So those are both five. Um, oh, wait. We can fill that to ten. Now we have ten. Now we have one, two, three, four. So we need another four. There's two. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Damn it, we're back to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gah. Okay. Five, five, and one. Okay. Um. Five, five, and one. Ah. 
Six, five, and zero. Five, zero, five. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put three in there. Now we have one here. Now we have six, four, and one. This is a tough one that you don't know how to solve. Two. Four, two, and five. Six, one, and four. Dang! This hurts the old brain head. That just, that would fill that back up. Then we'd be back to really nowhere. Um... This is like algebra. That's ten. Number four. That doesn't do us any good. So the weights are supposed to balance so that you can figure out what number each symbol corresponds to. That much I know about that puzzle. I think it's time for tea. Is 
That's nine. Six and five. So we have 11, 11 total that we're playing with. Get more water. There's still water in the bucket. This is all the water it'll let me use. So we have six, four, and one. We could do five, five, and one. We could turn it into five, five, and one. <clears throat> or seven, five, and zero. Put this over here, that becomes seven. Put this over here. Seven. So we need one. We need one more. If we put this in here, then we're left with two here. It'd be two, five, and two, five, and four. done that before. Okay, two, five, and four. The solution. Do, do I have the right idea, though? Am I doing... Is this what the puzzle is? Just to make that add up to eight? It's ten steps. Okay. Let me poke around at it a little more. Try wrap my brain around it. Right now we're at two, five, and four. We put that in there, it'd be 
two, three, and six. Wait, wait, wait. Six, seven. That's it. Six plus two is eight. Yes! I'm the smartest man alive! Wow, that was a that was a freaking puzzle. All right, now we distill. Fucking rad, bro. That was crazy. It kind of it kind of reminds me of like remember they used to have those brain teaser games on the tables in restaurants. It kind it was like I'm not saying there was one that was like that, but that's kind of like having to get back into that brain teaser mindset. Okay, well, did this do anything for us, or are we just... Maybe we have to give it time? <laughs> Hype! My brain is not... My brain is not the part of me that likes being teased. <laughs> oh my... All right, let's... I'm sure that has something to do with something. Okay, so that plus one equals four. So triangle is three. Triangle is three. All right. Dreamcast is plus four. Plus four of what? I don't know. A plus and a four. Okay, triangle three. Plus is four. Dreamcast is plus four. Plus four equals Dreamcast. Plus is not four. It is too small to be four. So is it one then? I guess I, I guess well, process of elimination. Triangle equals three, plus equals one, Dreamcast equals five. All right, well, I guess we got to go field dress us a deer. But I suppose he's going to want his, uh, his Bloody Mary first. I still, I, I, plus four equals dream, one plus four. I, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't know how... I don't know where that five comes from, but I am not of the ma math mind. Just cut him a little bit. But I'm supposed to give him a drink first. Aren't I?
I'm supposed to grind something up. And what the heck? And what what is this for? Watering the oh. Maybe it won't grow when I'm looking at it. And he just let me. Okay, I'm gonna. He'll. I'll, he can drink himself then. He was. He was surprisingly cool about that. Hmm. with those. need the other moth before you can poke the moths in order. <sighs> oh! Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so now I have to poke these in order. So... So... Down, gold, up, up, down, down. That was, that was pretty gross. Poisonous seeds. Well, is that the secret? Oh, I bet I have to grind those up, don't I?
poisonous powder. I bet that's a secret ingredient. I guess it's not. Oh, wait, do I have to put this in the... Okay. I wish I hadn't clicked on that so many times. All right, Sir Reginald Featherbottom the third. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. What are you doing, buddy? A new dawn. <laughs> You've already got the mouth sounds. <laughs> that was surprisingly difficult, but we did it. All right. The first dinner. <laughs> the verdict. Oh dear, this is good. The perfect dinner. The night falls, guests go to their rooms. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Have a look in my pocket, see? <laughs> Give me a hint there, buckaroo. As to what he wants to eat. I found a kiss. He gave me a carrot, so maybe we'll find the rabbit and do that next. Bonnie. 
A5. Two of hearts. Triangle stone. I bet I have to play three card Monty against him, don't I? Take that butthole. Hmm. Sword from the right on the top. I bet that's for the, the closet thing or this. I probably have to find swords, don't I? Should have been the Ace of Spades! Ace with that symbol, five with that symbol. another one of those press it in the same order things. Two in that symbol. Watch closely! I mean, I did it right. Oh, I, my hand is full. I can't pick anything up. That's a terrifying sound for a rabbit to make. that was two. Ace is like three E. Oh, king is the owl. What was owl? Owl shape. Like a chandelier. All right, 
what was five. Like a syringe. Wait, it was four or five? Five, right? Yeah. Four and eight. Actually, we could, by process of elimination, we just try one and then we try the other. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, whoops. Okay, what did that do? Oh, we got to kiss. Yeah. What you doing, creepy boy? Got one. All right, I think we can pick stuff up now. I can't tell if that's good sounds or not. Fuck! Okay. I guess that's all we needed there. box ah we got to kiss nice all right now we just need to figure out what this means and then there's creepy boy outside maybe we just press those so press that that and that not. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Oh, maybe I give him the hat? <laughs> Doofus. White, purple, orange, red. Oh, I have to... Okay, I see. Purple, red, white, orange. Purple, red, white, orange. There. 
Didn't I do it? Purple, red, white, orange. Ah! Okay. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Ting noise. Ta-da! Ah. All right, well, we've got Donnie Darko walking around outside. So this one, skip, skip, this one, this one. Skip, skip, this one, and this one. O-M-G. Jim, today is now following. Jim, were you subbed and not followed? Well, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. <laughs> Purple Monkey Dishwasher. <laughs> All right, we got our rabbit leg. We are, uh, we're celebrating our mod with the most, the incredible Wadi, whose birthday is today, and she decided to do a stream takeover and said that I'm going to play this game. So this is what we're playing. Welcome in, Jim. Nice to see you. We didn't find any white beans. Those must have been elsewhere, huh? Ah, well, no beans for us. There's usually one optional item in the lobby and one in the room. I don't know where the heck the beans would have been then. Ah, well. If this wasn't Hassenpfeffer, I'd swear it was carrots. Playing Marbs later? We are playing Marbs later. Almost perfect. And it's almost isn't spelled right. So, kind of works on a couple levels there. Bum, bum, bum. No dinner at night time, but the night time is the right time for dinner. Click on that tree, click on the bat cat. I'm clicking on all the things. Oh, well, that was that was kind of neat. Ah! 
Draculia! I freed from Draculia. I freed from Ghost. That was weird. I, mean, I didn't get anything for that. Shouldn't I have? That was weird. I feel like I got ripped off. Do I need to have all the keys in order to open that? That must be it. Okay. I get it now. Potatoes! Why not mash them, stick them in a stew? So the po- no! So the potatoes go with the pigeon lady? So I guess we're eating pigeon. Private? Pigeon taking a bath. Pigeon taking a bath next to a uh, a Tesla coil. All right. Well, I guess we're having pigeon soup eventually. Get me some corn. Get your own damn corn. This is not a room that I would be comfortable taking a bath in. going on in here. Triangle plus square equals four. S plus dreamcast equals two. S minus dreamcast equals two. Oh, this freaking math stuff. For those that aren't subscribed, they're about to run another ad on us. I do need to take a quick bathroom break. So we are going to run a 60 second ad, do a quick BRB. So get up, stretch, get a drink, do what you got to do. And we will be right back. How about that? All right. It's pee pee time. Maybe.
Come on. Let's not turn my music on. Dang it. Uh, all right. Whatever. It's going to be a quiet BRB. All right. All right, we back. We back. Uh oh, where'd my video game go? There we go. There's the video games. Good night, Phoenix. I'm sure you're gone at this point, but good night.
more piece of paper. And there it is. There's the corn. And we got another kiss. Ah, yes, corn key. A classic. Okay, triangle plus square equals four. I'm supposed to remember all this stuff. Square plus triangle plus triangle equals five. But triangle plus square equals four. So is square three? And triangle is one? Triangle one, square is three. Dreamcast is six. So I can, okay, can you can write these in chat? So, so square is three. Dreamcast is six. Square equals three. Dreamcast is six. S minus six equals two. So S is eight. Eight minus six equals two, yes. All right, let's try that out. All right, S is eight. Dreamcast is six. Triangle is one. And square is three. Hell yeah, first try. Oh god! Uh, how you doing, buddy? Uh, we'll, get, we'll find another kiss for you. I guess that makes more sense now. So, the saying lightning through the brain? Can't really do anything to that. Okay, so I'm supposed to stop him from leaving? Uh, 
Okay. Apparently I got a... something. Nope, did that wrong. Not that. 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 Dang it, nope. Okay. Dang it! I'm trying! I'm trying! Okay, so otherwise he just goes right off the map. Okay. So, let's go th up. Okay. Okay. Down is not the way to go. Really likes to go that way, huh? Ah, he can go between the damn things. You can't even really put a pattern together either. Because he takes a different. Even if you start on the same one, he'll take a different path. And I'm fucking screwed again. God damn it.
right back here again. Son of a... Brr. No, you fucker! I feel like this is more luck than anything. You just... You have to get lucky that he goes the right way. Take that, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Close! Cigar! This is a puzzle? Left, right, left, left, left. Right, 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 left, right, left, left, left. Right. 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 Left. Right. Left. 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 Give me the kiss! I did not even realize it was a puzzle. I thought you could just, like, change the music for the room. But then I realized now that it, it never stuck. Ting! Make a ting sound! What's up, Birdo? Okay, well, like, I guess we did a nice thing and set him free. Okay, he'll leave that press down for us, so that's, that's pretty cool. We'll buggy running that for us. There we go. Soup's done. We didn't get any blackberries, though. Zamp! Been so long I forgot how to sign in, but at least I'm in. Well, nice to have you. I'm glad you were able to get back in. Kind of like a paradiddle. Launch everybody. <sighs> All right, so we got two more rooms to get through, and then it'll be Marb time. Done with your shower in a good time. 
Welcome back, HP. Freshly sheared. off the light on the welcome desk. I thought I'd... Oh, okay. Tried to study the drums for a little bit, but didn't really get me anywhere. That's okay. At least you tried. Movie's fun to watch, but the ending is lame and the plot seems forced. Good to know. Sure. Mr. Boar. Well, it looks like we dropped that on his head. It's no accident. Bring me a sandwich. Could have said please, butthole. Dear Mr. Ambassador, I was informed by our mutual friend about your and addictions. It's not about butthole players. Dear Mr. Ambassador, I was informed by our mutual friend about your addictions and anxieties. I want to invite you to Rusty Lake. Our excellent mental health and fishing facilities will give you some rest. Yours sincerely, Mr. Owl. Zamp. Blep. <laughs> okay. Opium it is then. Two, three, two. One. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. That's okay. Some kind of puzzle. Wait, I got some TP. TP for my bunghole. This isn't Flanders Field. <laughs> what could this possibly... Hmm. 
switch which one they're attached to. Okay, I see. So we could, like, put all the blue ones in the middle. For example. Okay. I'm sure there's some order they're all supposed to go in. Hmm. Interesting. That's all that is, okay. It's gotta be a picture or something. Well, he doesn't want opium, he wants a sandwich. We have a lamp, some opium, and some toilet paper. Oh! I don't recall seeing this. Oh, there we go. All the blue ones at all the blue ones at the top. We can do that. That was easy. There's a second door there, so do I assume we can also go all blue ones at the bottom? Opium pipe. Pipe. Oh, this is the sandwich. We put opium in the sandwich? Guess not. Got matches. Lettuce. Do we put lettuce in the sandwich? We do. Do we put opium on the lettuce? We don't. Are you? Is this a tortlet? Oh, we got shit. Boar shit. Oh, we have a whole second line of stuff. Do we put shit on the sandwich? Do we put opium on the shit? <laughs> We don't. It's a... Uh, we just made a shit sandwich. Okay, you butthole. You're getting a... You're getting a shit sandwich. How's it going in there? Well, we can make another sandwich. Oh, I can't make an opium sandwich. Okay, now what do we do? We don't have a key. Oh, 
Oh, wait, do we give him the toilet paper? a great big circle. Well, we got some more shit out of him. Okay, well, I guess we can go... A, we can... A twist that starts and ends in the shit. Ah! <laughs> Please don't do cocaine in the bathroom. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Well, where's the Shrine of the Silver Monkey? sure what we do now. The only thing we haven't really touched is the, uh, is these monkeys. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One two. One two. One two three. One two. Monkey two. Monkey three. Monkey two. Monkey one. Monkey three. Monkey one. Monkey two. Monkey three. Okay! <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so all the blue down the right-hand side. up top. Okay, wrong side. Whoop. 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 And whoop. 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 All right. It's hammer time. What a weird collection of stuff. That, okay. Okay. We need to get him out of there. So we that's what the shit sandwich is for. The infinite shit sandwich.
Okay. Shit witch, if you will. Pork chop sandwiches! Get the fuck out of here! More shit, I guess. Holy crap! Whoa. What's up, Duder? You know what to do. Okay. Well, cut the rope, I assume. We didn't find any sides for our menu. We didn't find any red wine. We didn't find any tomatoes. We have even found them in here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, friends. This is gonna be a real boring dish. There's literally nothing else for us to do in here. All right. fish was delish, and it made quite the dish. Holy crap, the secret of shit sandwiches. 
All right, well, the sole surviving animal gets a real boring pork dish. <laughs> Imbued with the essence of shit sandwiches. <laughs> boring. Found some wine. Yep. Somebody in the lobby holding wine or the other thing. Alright, well, I guess we're not going to find anything else. Boring pork it is. I'm sure there's replay value to finding all the stuff. One more to do. key did the boar have the number of his room uh two i want to say I went to the wrong floor. All right. Let's hope this is a pleasant pheasant. And that our reward is a pleasant present. She does not look like a peasant pheasant, though. She looks fairly well off. Oh, 
please take my picture. The lady in blue, Mr. Crow, Mr. Owl. Puppet show. The Memories of the Lake, a dramatic story about the past and future. Ms. Pheasant as the Lady in Blue. Ms. Pheasant as Mr. Crow. Ms. Pheasant as Mr. Owl. Three thirty three. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's the little black thing on top of the clock? Oh, shit. We're getting a good meal here. I can't believe the eternal darkness time is the right time. For that puzzle. That was just me doing what I always do when I find a clock. Easy stuff. Try hard elsewhere, bot. Oh, I missed it. Star Kitta has stolen my daughter, decided to jump up in her lap for all the pets. Okay, so what else is here to click on? Not much. Probably have to put that liquid on the plate, one would assume.
Huh. Bod selling Edmeds. <laughs> Try putting the paintbrush in the blood. It's possible. Brush with blood. wet plate, but it's already been exposed to air. Wait a second, did I check these drawers? I can't remember if I did or not. I am not ready yet! Okay. What do you need? You said you weren't ready! Okay... Uh... Brush with Blood, a new makeup line brought to you by Rusty Lake Cosmetics. So realistic you'll swear it was made out of real blood. Make those puppets fight. Oompa Loompa Dooba Dee Doo That's all they'll do. Oh Thwack 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 Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her mother forty wax. Burn! Burn! Well, that sure was, uh, that sure was something. See, she has costume pieces. Okay, what are you missing now, lady? Want a magnifying glass? I have to paint the backdrop, don't I? So she's What what mask is that? Is that owl? Yeah, that's owl. So it has to be a W. So da 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 da. W for Wadi and Owl! Punch and Judy. <laughs> I feel like there's poopy in my butthole. There's poopy in your butthole, uh oh. What am I missing now? Let me see it. Okay, 
forget about this. Let me shoot my pants. idea what that is yet. Hmm. Is is that not the owl mask? And butthole pleasures. It's not, it's not about pleasures. butthole pleasures at all. Did I just paint it wrong or too badly? That is what I painted, isn't it? Just a W. Like bomp, 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 bomp. Bump, 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 bump. Wario! Or is it too low? That looks right. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what else you want, lady. So this is supposed to be something. Okay. Maybe I painted it in the wrong place. I don't know. Let's try it way up here. Nope. I have no idea, folks. I have no idea. Stinks, it stinks, it stinks. Nope, she will not take it off.
Well, she's got that mask on and it's not coming off, so... I want to get I want to get through it just just give me the answer there's there's just very little in here oh there's a key hold on Oh, it's just a hat. Does she want the hat, too? Well, that turned that light on. Maybe it does have to be in a certain order. Now well, let's draw the cross and see if that helps. Hey, the other light turned on. I bet that's what it was. Oh my god. <coughs> You've stolen my soul! Okay, well... be that. Okay. Or maybe we have to paint it. We'll paint the W. Nope, lights are off. Safe under the green plant? No, we haven't. But there's there's nothing here to tell us what the puzzle even is that solves it. It's just symbols. There's no writing in that we've found so far that tells us what this could be. Look at the photo in the photo. Oh, circle tree S. Dang it. And there's the crow mask. Or, yeah. And that was two lines. 
Ja. I don't think it liked how I drew those lines. Well, that one wasn't much better, huh? There we go. Oh, buddy. Time there is 3.30, which we already knew. All right, now one more photo. Now the freaking owl. And the freaking W. There, finally. Holy moly. Mr. Owl! <laughs> Develop that shit! Ah, heck, I didn't take the picture out. take another picture, I guess. Hmm. But now what? We still don't have a kiss to open this box. We haven't used this magnifying glass for anything. Okay. Rooney. I mean, we can take another picture. I don't know why we would. We need a key for this box. We don't have it. We've taken all the pictures, I think. But we can take one more. But of what?
I've taken many pictures. Mayor Bear's back. Welcome back, Mayor Bear. Is there anything else in these pictures maybe we missed? So that was for the thing. That was for the clock. So what was this one for? Oh. One, two, three, four, one, two. There it is. That's what it is. I didn't pay close enough attention. Whoa. Mayor Panda Booty just cheered one bit. Sorry. I got lost, had to leave. That's okay. Alright, I... I took a pic- I took a picture of that, so... Because I am not going to remember it. So let's go back to the ye old music box. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun. And a kiss. The long awaited kiss. It's <laughs> a fucking muff pistol. Or a derringer, that's a derringer I should say. Which is a type of muff pistol. Now do I just fucking shoot her? <laughs> That's brutal. All right. Well, getting a good meal out of this one. We got all the ingredients. It's a flintlock pistol. Yeah, I've, I've. I've got one just like it. Makes a great stage prop. You're having to pick someone up when they wanted to get picked up was very confusing because the entrance for it was basically coming off the entry to the highway, so I basically missed the turn two times, ended up on the highway twice, had to circle around, and you were worried their phone was going to die before you could get to them. You managed to get them, but it was pretty much having a panic. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, Mayor Bear. <laughs> That's been a while. This place is Hotel California. You can check in any time you like, but you can never leave. These aren't in order, are they? Answer. Yeah, might as well. I'm sure those symbols mean something. Three, five, four, one, two. The 
Lake Cigars. That's cool. Based on the stamps that were in different letters in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I probably could have brute forced that, but that would have taken a while. The fifth dinner. I bring the last dinner to Mr. Owl. You know what the dinner is? The Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Uh, he never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Look at all him trophies. There we are. There we the are. Last dinner. Thank you for all the memories. And Harvey, I'm really glad you brought the cigars. No prob, Bob. The lake will be grateful. You ain't gonna throw me in it, are you? Take a look at the black cubes, would you? Do I want to? Why did my lights flash just now? Are we gonna eat dinner, dude? What the hell is this? Some kind of cube? Is this a puzzle? Mr. Owl in charge of your lights. for the sake of being cryptic, or is there something I'm supposed to do here? Uh, 
The memory is oh. not only the key to the past, but also to the future. Have a look. Again? Mmm, delicious cube. Sounds like they just turned off the air, the uh, seat belt fasten sign. You are now free to move about the cabin. Damn it, HP, now I'm sitting in the dark. Mr. Rogers? We did it. Did you get all the stars? We missed th we missed four stars. There are several other games that are not as wrapped up as this one. All right. Well, that was that was pretty interesting. All right. Well, that was Wadi's game of choice for us this evening. Hold on a second here. Slight technical difficulties. Just do a little force quitting. find it. Have you seen my stream? It's literally all technical difficulties. Here we go. Got our tunes back. All right. It is now Marb time for those that are still here. Just got to fire up the old marbles on stream. We'll be ready to do some rolling. There was an update. I did install it before stream, so we should be good. Here we go. But, uh, calling all Marv stars, calling all Marv stars, it's time to play Marbles on stream. Bring those marbles over to the service desk. Bring those marbles over to the service desk. Calling all Marv stars, calling all Marv stars. All right. All right, been a minute here. Community maps. A doot 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 doot. Oh, I like like the name of that one. Funky Wonky Waters. Well, you'll be doing plenty of doobie rolling when you're living in a van down by the river. They get deep into the lore of the animals here and the family members each animal represents. Oh, cool. Ugh. 
All right, exclamation point play. Let's get those marbs on the board. Whoa. Hurricane underscore badger just cheered one bit. Get your balls in. Get your balls in. It's marbs time. <laughs> Give your balls a tug. Thank you for that, HB. Much appreciated. All right, we got myself, CB Geek, Wadi, and HB on the board calling all Marb Stars. I'm looking at you, Seema, and everyone else that may be hanging out. We have run a little late. It is it is a little, pa a little past half past 12 here. Devil's Gate, welcome in, welcome in. Also, something I realized, like, earlier today that I com almost completely forgot about, um, apparently I've got a concert tomorrow night that I completely forgot about. It is... And I, and I only r realized it because I opened up my calendar to check something unrelated to anything like that. Where is it? Ooh, Secret Surprise Concert. And Yanks is here, too. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, but I am... Uh, apparently, months and months and months ago, I bought... Uh, I bought tickets to go see uh, Gin Blossoms and Toad the Wet Sprocket. <laughs> at the fair. So I guess... I guess after rehearsal, I'm, I'm driving back up here and I'm going to the fair to see a show. Holy shit, I love Toad the Wet Sprocket. I'm not really familiar with them. And I only know Gin Blossoms from that one... One song of theirs that... Was... Popular in the 90s. I don't know if there's anyone else playing. Gin Blossoms and Toad the Wet Sprocket. All right, show's at seven. Ooh, that'll be a little close. That's fine, that's fine. Nice concert, Eric. I love Toad. All right, well, I'm, I guess I'm going to be looking forward to it then. I follow Glenn on Facebook. He does unplugged streams from his place from time to time. No way, that's fucking rad! That's your favorite song. But there's another one I like more back in the day. Creed and Three Doors Down are doing a concert at SPAC on the same day as Traveler's Day at the horse track. Should be an interesting track. Oh, that, yeah, that does sound uh, like it's going to be wicked busy. All right, well, uh, we have eight marbs on the board now. Do we have everybody in that wants to roll? Exclamation point plays all you guts to do. Let's do roll call here just to make sure. We got Mare Bear, HB, Devil Skate, Waddy, Seema, myself, CB Geek, and Yanks. If I didn't say your name, you're not on the board. Exclamation point, exclamation point plays all you guts to do. Oh, yeah. Found out about you is my favorite Gin Blossom song. Wow, I, I feel so out of the loop. Everyone's like, these bands are great. And I'm like, I believe you. But uh Yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked. And it's it's my excuse to go to the fair this year. And I think it's like I think today was like day one of the fair. So tomorrow's like the second day of the fair. And the uh the tickets I got are like, so I mean, like it's a fairground. So there's the stage is way off here. They have a big open area in the middle where they also do like monster truck shit, and then they have a grandstand. And the seat I have is like right at the front, right front center of the grand, like very front row center of the grandstand. So I'm I'm up over the heads of all the people that are sitting down there, but I'm 
nice front and center, I think, like right behind the soundboard. So should be excellent, excellent seat there. And I can just sit there and I can just eat a bunch of disgusting fair food and just like, this is the life. And I may see if uh, I may see if Fates wants to go because I bought I, I I always buy two tickets and I know Saturdays Tom does his overnights so we'll see if maybe see if Fates wants to go. But I will uh, definitely when I'm driving to and from rehearsal tomorrow I will check out uh, I'll check out some playlists with both of those bands so I know what I'm getting into. All right, let's get rolling here. It is getting late. Uh, sorry we ran late, but I wanted to get through that game. And we did! Fear is okay, but I liked Dulcina better. It's about as far into Christian rock as I go. Not very. Well, there's a there's a a metal there's a metal band by the name of Demon Hunter. They're a, they're a Christian metal band, but they just they absolutely rip, and they're one of my they're one of my favorites. May not quite be the sound a lot of a lot of y'all are into, but like I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I I. It's one of my college radio discoveries. Their third album, The Triptych, landed on my desk one day, and I was like, man, this is amazing. Chilling at the fair with churros, Toad, and Jim Blossom. Sounds like fantastic times. Toad isn't a Christian band. Now, I, I'm not sure where that came into the conversation here, but... Or maybe it was a reference of Creed, perhaps? I don't know. They're pretty cool. My old boss, the previous IT director where I work now, is a metalhead and sent me some of their stuff. Just checked iTunes and they list the genre as rock. <laughs> All right, looks like HB's leading the charge here. With Wadi in second, your boy in third, Seema in fourth. Yeah, that's correct. This is a weird color scheme. It's like mustardy gold and white. This, I don't know. For some reason, this combination of colors just seems really gross to me. And I don't know why. Like, is that, is, does anybody else think this is just a gross combination of colors? Like, it just seems wrong. Why would you put these two colors together? A week ago, Jim was at a Steve Earle acoustic concert. Oh, you're talking about Demon Hunter. Yeah, I freaking love Demon Hunter. Uh, it was either last year or the year before they put out a... Um, it's kind of like a Greatest Hits album, but it's, it's them playing their own song. But it's also not... I wouldn't call it an unplugged album either, but like it's kind of them doing just acoustic takes... Um, of a bunch of their songs. I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty great. And they aren't, they aren't super, super in your face with their, I mean, they're, they're very upfront about the fact that like, they are a Christian metal band, but it's not like there's, I mean, there's other Christian metal bands that I've heard who are, who are very kind of in your face about it. Demon Hunter isn't. They're, I think their music, regardless of whether you're listening to it for the message or not, it do, it stands on its own. But there's other bands that like are all right, but never but don't quite have that balance like Demon Hunter does. Like um, becoming the archetype is one that immediately comes to mind. But a lot of Christian metal stuff found its way to my desk when I was working in radio. Of course, a lot of stuff evolves around. There's a lot of like random Scandinavian black metal. So many bands, like I didn't even know what they were called because they have the Thornbush writing of their name, and it's like. And if they sent literature with it, it was not helpful. So it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> 
But HB with the W here. Let's just enjoy the tunes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or like listening to music from a band that doesn't speak your language. If it, the music speaks for itself. You know, it's, it's that same sort of thing. It's Music is a universal language. All right, but HB with the W, CMOS second, Devil's Gate third, Yanks fourth. Oh, shit, we had Yeats Pizzas there. Sorry, we got to talking about tunes. All right, we got the hat. It counts. All right, uh, your boy in fifth, CB Geek sixth, Mayor Bear seventh, and Waddy Yeats a Pizza into the eighth, two-thirds of the hat trick. Right off the bat, well done, well done. As we move on to race number two, Electric Boogaloo, Rather Rudimentary Rice, exclamation point play. But there are some, uh, there's quite a few, like, 90s alt-rock bands that I wouldn't necessarily say they've fallen by the wayside, but aren't as, aren't as remembered as others that I would still, like, I would still put on a short list that I would really like to see at some point in my life. A um, couple examples, uh... Like, I'd love to see Toadies. I hear they put on a great show still. Uh, crash Test Dummies, if they're still together. Um, oh, yeah. Lots of tunes out there. Lots of tunes. Although I'm kind of like, with, with the exception of this concert that I forgot about, I'm, I'm kind of just at a pause and a break from going to shows because... Well, one, being so wrapped up with summer theater and everything, I just didn't have time. But also just there is I'm just kind of at the point there's too much. There's just too much. And you got to kind of draw a line in the sand with your wallet and be like, I got to I got to I got to cut back for a while. So that's kind of where I'm at. So after this, I don't have anything on my schedule for for a while. Or at all. There is nothing. There is nothing pending on my schedule. But I'm going to need that break. Um, especially, like, after tomorrow, I'm going to get more time back with the rehearsal schedule pairing back. So I'm going to be able to finish up a bunch of these partially finished STS projects I've been working on. Start spinning up the Spooktober series for this year. And continue, like, with my eyes glued to the counter to when I... Because we're, we're closing in. We're 100, 150 to go, and we hit full partner. Time to fly somewhere else on your flight, Pitlan. Uh, I, yes, I would like to. I would like to. But that probably will be after the show closes in October. I probably won't do anything between major between now and then. All right, we got seven. We're missing one. Who? We're missing me. Dang it. All right, we got Crystal Lamp, CB Geek, HB, Waddy, Seema, Yanks, myself, and Devil's Skate. God, I got the fucking hiccups now. But with how the, how the trajectory, especially the last six weeks, has gone with the... Uh, with the STS channel, just with the evergreen content I have there. Um, I want to be able to seize and capitalize on that. Especially like, you know, the partner program, little token of recognition and everything. It's... I'll be... I'll be on my way. I'll get that. I'll get the. I'll get that real play button. You just watch. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna say we're all here. Let's get rolling. It is ten minutes to one. On the plus side, uh, because I'm the director in charge of this show, I decided we are not doing a 9 a.m. Saturday rehearsal. We are doing a uh, one p or well, one p.m. call time. So we're doing an afternoon rehearsal that'll go until dinner. I'm going to be there a little early because I got to try to, I got to go up on the roof and put that 
last piece of the antenna in place to hopefully uh, hopefully then turn around and have a pretty freaking awesome connection up at the theater but we shall see with a uh, two hundred dollar long ranger antenna and a hundred and sixty dollar Nighthawk M6. It better work. It freaking better work. All right, we've got Yanks leading the charge here. Quite a quite a bit of a lead, but here comes Devil Skate. But Seema, Seema's not far behind. Crystal Lamp in fourth. Oh, Mary Bear, you missed this one. We'll make sure you get in on the next one, my dear. Oh, are those supposed to be like scorpions? I don't know what this is supposed to be. I guess they could be scorpions or lobsters. Or just weird obstacles. This is a weird course. Rather rudimentary rice, it's called. All right, well, we're closing in on the end. At least it's not a long one. Yank's still currently in the lead, but not by much. But close only counts of horseshoes and hand grenades. Yank's locking in the W. Devil Skate for second. Chris the Lamp third. Seema fourth. Here comes Wadi for fifth. Wadi just needs a W for that hat trick. But there's still many races to come. CB Geek 6th, HB 7th, and uh, and we can end it there. We don't need to pay much attention to what happens after that. HB in 7th. Uh, but Yanks with the W. Well done there. Well done. Well done. No Yitza pizzas there to be found. Eric, how dare. Damn it, Eric. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> All right, race number three. Dazzling Bizarre Circus. Exclamation point play. All right, if you're tra tracking your metrics, we know Wadi just needs a W for the uh, for the hat trick. I'm not sure what else everyone else needs, though. It's still your B-Day in Central Time, and Mountain Time, and Pacific Time. In most of the country, it's still your birthday. But yeah, I'm going to be stoked to have some free time in my life again to get more of that work done. Maybe get a couple more songs recorded and released. If or me, just a single and a B-side, if not the rest of this EP that I was talking about at the beginning of this dang year. A lot I'd like to do, but there's only so many hours in the day. For about six more minutes. <laughs> All right, we got nine on the board now. Where the heck are we? Oh, there we are. All right, we got Mare Bear. All right, you did get in. All right, Mare Bear, Devil Skate, Yanks, myself, HB, Seema, CB Geek, Crystal Lamp, and Wadi. If I didn't say your name, you're not on the board. X, Mage Point Play. Free time, what's that? I don't know. I only get, I only get that like six months out of the year. <laughs> That's when you're not getting paid. Yeah, every day when I'm doing my two hours worth of driving, I'm like, man, if I could just be getting paid for this driving, that would be great. Or that's that'd be the one argument I could make for like fully autonomous self-driving if it was like advanced enough that I could literally not be behind the wheel and be able to do other stuff during that time. But I don't think that's ever going to happen in all honesty. All right, I think Mare Bear is going to get the opportune drop out of here. We shall see. You had ribeye and barbecue. <gasps> For your birth... Oh, was your birthday today? Or was it, like... Oh, yours was the 22nd. Oh, cool! 
Well, your boys, your boy here, mine is uh, just almost exactly a month away. It is the 25th of next month, which is a Wednesday. Ugh. What the hell am I going to do on a Wednesday? So... But I may just... I mean, I'm, ta I'm taking the day. I don't work on my birthdays. I just don't. So... But I may just... I may just work Monday and Tuesday and then take Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Give myself a five-day weekend. We'll see. And in that case, it's like, well, maybe I could go somewhere. But also, that's like... That's going right into... That's going right into Hell Week for the show. For Last of the Living Legends, which I wrote and am directing. And I'm acting in. Because I can't keep myself away. What do you do on a Wednesday? Blackjack and hookers? In that order. Chris the Lamp currently leading the charge here. Kaboom kablamo! Holy moly. You gonna stick the landing? Oh, there's Seema like a bat out of hell. You'll be gone when the morning comes. Eric is apparently a hopeless thespian. Oh, Yanks with the Yeats of Pizza. Well, when it when it comes to this show, I mean, this is this is part four of the five part series that I've been putting together s since 2018, and how it's developed. There's this there's a specific character that's sort of shown up in this universe, and I've had in the back of my mind for a couple of years, like it'd be really fun to play this guy. And but, at, but on the other hand, I was never intending on doing it but how things have worked out with casting availability and stuff there's really no one else available who can play it so and it's fun to play a villain I'll leave it at that <laughs> so with this show and then the final show in the series next year I've I've get it he's got a really interesting arc and that arc really got more interesting when I realized that that was something I was going to be playing. So it's kind of me just writing an awesome part for myself. I, I'll admit that. But it's also like... You need a really good villain. You just do. But HB with the W, Waddy second. Waddy close to getting that hat trick. Very close. It could still happen. Wadi second, Seema in third, CB Geek fourth, Devil Skate fifth, Crystal Lamp sixth, Mare Bear seventh, <clears throat> and Yanks in ninth. Eric out there again. <laughs> HP got blowed up and won. Big bada boom. All right, penultimate race number four out of five. Optimal glacial construction. Exclamation point play. But it's all—it's also kind of—it's also just interesting going in, going into the, the fourth out of five. With like, with brand new leads, and like, between a little more than a third of your cast being not only new to the series but new to your theater company, it's, it's very interesting. There's a lot of. There's a lot of new newness going into something that had this distinct possibility of getting long in the tooth and overstaying its welcome. This looks way less glacial than I was expecting. Where are we? Are we all just around the outside? Around the outside? We are around the outside. Yeah, there's there looks there's a there's a distinct lack of glaciers here. I think the glaciers were a lie. All right, we got seven marbs on the board. Our magic number last time was nine. Just file down the extra long teeth. They'll grow back. <laughs> the 
But I really like this show because, I, I, I mean, I mentioned it before. This one really does, in a lot of ways, play play like a slasher film. Kind of. It's It pays very, very subtle homage to, like, classic 80s slasher flicks. But also, like, really leans into the sci-fi. And then going into next year... In the final show, it's just everything is turned on its head, and it's it's super far removed from what the series was when it started. But it's also kind of like it's found this little sub story within the bigger picture. And now that you know, I'm getting to the end of the writing for the final show, I'm realizing like I've created a massive universe here. There's a lot of lore and like a hundred years worth of history to explore. So. Despite the fact that, like, this is the last play, um, I feel like I may turn around and see what I can do about turning the stories that I've already written and the other ones that have yet to be told that exist in this universe and, like, see maybe we're turning them into novels? We'll see. I don't know. And then being able to pen some more stories because i mean at the end of the day people aren't necessarily going to buy a play to read it but they may check out a novel so we'll see but this is just me talking all right we still got seven on the board who are we missing here let's do roll call we got hb yanks sema devil skate myself wadi and cp geek if i didn't say your name you're not on the board there we go. Now we can see us. And we've just hit four hours for the stream. It's it's actually been a while since we've done a full four-hour stream. I hope all of us are part of this novels universe. You're seeing so many ads. Aw, oh, boo. You shouldn't. Although there is one that's going to start in five minutes, so... Everyone get on the board. Let's get through this so we don't have to run another ad before the end of the stream. But exclamation point play. All right, we got Mare Bear in here now. All right, final roll call. We got HB, Yanks, uh, Seema, Devil Skate, myself, Wadi, Mare Bear, and CP Geek. If I didn't say your name, you're not on the board. And we are going to roll without you. But like the universe is full of it's it's full of like at a basic level it takes place in a in a very small Appalachian village whose name you never find out the name of the place but it's irrelevant and only a handful of people live in this town officially but it's full of all these old stories and it's full of cryptids and it's full of the occult a lot of magic a lot of Fantastic and unbelievable things. Time travel. Interdimensional travel. Reincarnation. And full blown apocalypse at times. All right, Devil Skate in first place right now. Mare Bear in second. CB Geek third. HB fourth. But it's pretty tight. Pretty tight group in here. <laughs> Anything could happen. I've also written a lot of original instrumental music for this series just for, just for stage use. And... I could always, I could always release all that instrumental music as well. Maybe flesh some of it out, but like... It's some of the most complete electronic music I've ever written, so... Way back in 2018, like, I sat down and I wrote a theme song for it, and like... Coming back to that theme song every fall when I'm getting stuff ready just gets me so pumped. So I'm like, man, this is freaking good. I am my own biggest fan, but I guess I have to be. The 
the Chris Live. Lamp, is this you? You putting your name all over our course? Nah, you wouldn't make something called a glacier that isn't a glacier. Mare Bear yeets a pizza, stealing that eighth. Based on what you're saying, you should listen to this excellent podcast, Old Gods of Appalachia. Ooh, interesting. And I'm also I'm also in this series tying in a lot of like a lot of old like local Vermont lore, family lore. I have a lot of like family names in it when I've needed to name people in places, and it's it's pretty neat. Where the heck are we going? Oh, that's a warp spot. I this this course is where the heck did we go? Oh, here? Wait, no, it just disappeared. Where's okay? Apparently, people are finishing. Where the heck? All right, well, Seema got the W, Wadi second, Devil's Gate third, HB fourth. You bo I don't know what the heck my Marb is doing. Just trying to outrun the Flames of Oblivion, I guess. Mare Bear, how dare! CB Geek eats a pizza into six. Yanks eats a pizza into seventh. Here comes the Flames of Oblivion. I don't know if your boy's going to make it. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be close. Oh, nope. And your boy got burned. <laughs> Rhyme time. All right, we got one more race to go, folks. One more race to go. Exclamation point play. Funky Wonky Waters. All right, an ad was about to start on us, but I went ahead and I snoozed it, bought us about five minutes. I'd rather not, with this close to the end, I'd rather not run another stupid ad. So, exclamation point play, everybody. This does have waters. It does indeed. All right, we got eight marbs on the board. Is eight our magic number, or are we going to go back to nine? We shall see. Let's do roll call. We got HB, CB Geek, Mare Bear, Devil Skate, Yanks, myself, Wadi, and Seamoff. I didn't say your name. You're not on the board. Exclamation point play. We would love to have you roll with us, especially on the last race. We'll give you a second to do so. But I think eight is our number right now. <laughs> Kicks Chris's chair. Oh, Lamp. Yeah, Lamp probably fell asleep in his chair, as he does. Well, we could. We haven't done this. Uh, paging Chris the Lamp, you're wanted at the service desk. Paging Chris the Lamp, you're wanted at the service desk. And just in case that's not enough. Ah, uh, paging Chris the Lamp, you're wanted at the service desk. Paging Chris the Lamp, you're wanted at your service desk. Your phone call from St. Louis has come through. So stupid. I got the pedals at my feet. Might as well use them. Hey, there he is. It worked. It works. All right. Now that lamp is here, we're going to roll. You're laying in bed. <laughs> Wake up. It's mob time. But I've also got some other stories and things that I've adapted to this new audio theater format that I'm playing with for STS collaborations. And I'm pretty stoked to see how this all comes together. But... And all this stuff, once I got the time to start working at it, I'll be able to start putting everything together. Mare Bear way out in the lead, though. Oh, but stumbling a bit there. 
We got an equalizer here going up the stairs. You actually sleep there? <laughs> sleep is for the weak, Apu. Now review my notes from 8th grade history while I go to bed. Oh, your boy eats a pizza. This time I didn't steal the eight. Just ended up dead last. Waddy still needs that W to lock in the hat trick. Could the final W stand for Waddy? We shall see. Anything can happen when you're playing marbles on stream. We got Seema leading the charge in, on that lane. And we got... Oh, Waddy past Mare Bear. Over there. Oh, there's Devil Skate, Yeats of Pizza, stealing that eighth. CB Geek and Yanks joining as well. There goes Seema. All right, we got Wadi versus Mare Bear on the right. Oh, HB offers some Yeats of Pizza. Chris the Lamp all by his lonesome on the left. Only three marbs left on the board. Mare Bear, Wadi, and Chris the Lamp. Who's it going to be? As we make our way out of this tumble dryer of despair. Devil skate out there! The only thing you really needed for this marbs was an eighth. Well, the, the first one, you yeets a pizza into eighth. And you got your you got your two bits of a hat trick, so. But you could get the overall eighth as well. Oh, here we go! Could photo finish! Who's it gonna be? Wadi gets the hat trick! The birthday hat trick on the last race. Just slipping out there in front of Mare Bear. Hat trick! Hat trick! Whew, what a ride. Ooh, what a The Waddy with the W and the hat trick. Mare Bear in that sexy silver and crystal lamp rounding things out in third. And Devil Skate. <laughs> Stolen that eighth. All right, but we got one last thing to do, and that's head on over to Victory Valley. See who stands tall, stands proud, and goes home with all the gold, all the glory, and all the bragging rights. And Rickshot Tom shows up right at the end, right as we're done. But here we go in third place, going home with the bronze. We've got... Devil Skate. And in second place, going home with Silver. Sexy Silver, we've got... Seema! And in first place, going home with all the gold, all the glory, and all the bragging rights, is none other than the most... Excellent! Waddy! With the birthday W overall as well. It may not... I don't know. Is this better or worse than getting the birthday 8th? I'll leave that up to you. 181 points, 1 W. Wadi reigning above us all on this special day. Seema in second, 175 and 1. Devil Skate third, 149 and 0. HB fourth, 132 and 2. Two W's for HB, but not cracking the top three. Crystal Lamp in, in fifth, 95 and 0 for only three races. Well done, Crystal Lamp. Mare Bear six, 59 and 0. Yanks in seventh, 48 and 1. CP Geek. Stealing that overall eighth, though. Zero and Zamo, and your boy in dead last with Zillow and Zampo. How did HB not get first? It, again, it's a points battle, and you never really know. You never really know. And CB Geek with a with an absolute class play of sportsmanship, offering up that eighth to Wadi as a birthday gift. Because this just goes to show that we are all Excellent. on this blessed day. One last round of applause. Well done, everybody. Well done. I hope this was I hope this was a great stream, hostile birthday, a non-hostile birthday stream takeover. Uh, celebrating Wadi, playing a game of Wadi suggestion and supply, and I hope we enjoyed ourselves here. It's, it's been hit or miss through my summer season, but it usually is. I, I did more than I thought I was going to this year. But, hey, sometimes you just click with the material and you just want to, you just, you got to give it your all. Uh, 
Had a very fun stream. Nice. Probably not streaming tomorrow night because you'll be at your bros, but you'll update on Discord. All right. We will keep our eyes posted. And I will let everybody know how that uh, Gin Blossoms and Toad the Wet Sprocket concert goes tomorrow night. Depending on if I get a good connection there, maybe I'll even stream some of it. We'll see. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just have my hands full of disgusting fair food and I won't want to be poking at my phone. But regardless, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging on out. Um, if I can share some of it, I will. So, but this has been a fantastic night. And I hope everybody, everybody who's feeling a little under the weather, I hope you feel, I hope you're able to recover, get back on your feet and feel a lot better. Summer isn't quite over yet, but we are getting there. Shove them churros face word, brother. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Thank you for being here, Mayor Bear. Got a ton of dudes in my car. Oh, my. <laughs> Feel above the weather instead. Absolutely. That's the plan. That's what we're going to do. But thank you so much, everybody. Um, we're going to peace on out tonight. I really, really got to pee. So <laughs> we're going to right out. We're just going to say goodnight and do all those wonderful things that we normally do. I'm going to head to bed after I hit the bathroom. Uh, plan is to be back on Tuesday. Uh, unless something comes up, but I'll let you know. But that is my plan is to be here on Tuesday and we'll sort of try to ease back into our regular schedule. That may be, uh, maybe Timberborn, maybe something else. We shall see, but it'll be our last stream for the month. Of, it might be our last stream for the month of August. We shall see. I don't know what well, we're getting there. And butthole pleasures. It's, it's not, not about, about butthole, butthole pleasures, pleasures, at least all. not yet, but, um, but all right, everybody have a fantastic night. Uh, they're trying to start an ad on us. So that is our sign to leave. So, until next time, so long and good night. So long and good night. T T just, just that? So long and good night? Nothing else? Okay, I guess that's it. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks. It stinks. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Night, Jim. Thanks for hanging out. It is not about the butthole pleasures, but it is now about going to bed. So long and good night. For real. <laughs>